Hi everyone, it's Austin. This first part of the video will serve as the intro for my Hawaii vlog. I recently went to Hawaii at the end of February and now I'm finally piecing together all the vlog material I had from my camera and then from my phone. It's taken a while because I'm... Oh, my voice. It's taken a while because I've been lazy. This vlog in particular is going to be roughly like day one and day two. Um, so it's going to be like a three to four part vlog just for Hawaii, um, which should be easy, but I've just, again, been lazy to edit my videos. All these vlogs aren't going to have an ending because I, I just didn't do endings, so get prepared for that. Um, other things to be aware of, there was a, like a mark on my, or like a smudge on my camera that I didn't know was there, and so you'll see that sometimes in the videos. There's about like 15 seconds of day one footage, and then day two footage goes into it right away. Um, and the reason for that, this part is like the day one version of like what I'm summarizing. Um, also, my skin is so oily, I have not washed my face yet. Here's story time for day one and reason why I don't have footage for day one, or I have very little footage for day one. And so, okay, Whew, let me sit down. Um, it rouses me up every single time I talk about it. Our flight was on Hawaiian Airlines. Um, at 7 a.m. in the morning on a Friday and so I wake up pretty early for flights I like to get there pretty like pretty early just in case it's like ingrained in me because like my parents like would be like okay for uh four hours before we need to head to the airport so like I wake up at 4 a.m. for my 7 a.m. flight lo and behold I wake up look at my phone I'm like huh why do I have a text from Hawaiian Airlines that's weird I didn't give them my number they decided to cancel our flight for no reason um, and it's just saying like okay your Hawaiian Airlines flight is canceled I need to get out of here. I get on the phone with both my credit card, my card company, and then my bank, and then my, and then Hawaiian Airlines. Hawaiian Airlines was an hour wait, and I'm on the phone with Chase, and they're like, sorry, we need also call, we also need to call Hawaiian. I'm like, great, you're gonna be behind me now. Right when I get the pick, when it, right when I pick up the phone for Hawaiian, the lady decides to hang, the other lady decides to hang up on me, so I'm like, okay, that's chill. We're able to rebook our flight for United for like 1 p.m., which is way past what we were thinking, because we were like, okay, 7 a.m., we'll get there at 11 a.m., we have like pretty much the entire day still to like spend in Hawaii, but now we would have a flight at 1 p.m., get there at like 5 p.m., and so like it, it shortens our day by a lot. We drive over to our friend's grandma's place to park their car, and then we Uber there. Thank God our Uber lady was like killing the game, because she was like, she was a great driver, she knew LES really well, she was like driving to us, and then we get um, through TSA and everything, and we want to get our wristbands in order to do, like, the safe travels program, and nobody's prepared. Why go in the line when you're not even prepared? Huh? Get out of the line so other people can get in line. Um, we get our wristbands, we're, like, the last people to board the flight. Totally chill, we made it, we're on the plane. Um, but I think the reason I don't really fly United is because, like, that flight felt like it was forever. Usually I love, like, Hawaiian Airlines, um... Hawaiian Airlines, if you want to sponsor me, please. If I make it big, please sponsor me. I love you. Um, I go with Hawaiian Airlines. I think their planes are, like, really nice, especially if you're just going to Hawaii. It's, like, the plane to get go on when you're going to Hawaii. United just didn't feel super comfortable. Um, I felt like that flight, like, was taking forever. Anyways, we get there. We get our rental car, um, which is, like, a Toyota Camry Corolla. Um, and then they're like, oh, well, it's like, oh, what about, like, a potential upgrade? They're like, the only upgrade we have is a truck. And I was like, none of us feel comfortable driving a truck. So we got the Camry. We go get food. We go to Costco. We go to Walmart. Um, and so the only footage I have is from Costco. And it's literally two things. Um, there was other footage. It was like, uh, it's fine. And then we get here and we and just, like, rest for the night because it was, like, a long day. We were all tired. And then we knew we had a big day ahead of us. Okay. So that's the story time for day one. Day two is a really eventful day, um, so you'll be able to see that. And then hopefully I could finally just like get my editing grinding going um, to release days three to release days three through day seven, and then a food video. But yeah, that's my story time. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Um, again, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, enjoy the video and talk to you soon. So if I didn't make it clear, the reason why I'm not, I didn't film day one is because I was too tired to do anything. I was too lazy and I was too frustrated to do anything. So, yep. Oh my God, it's only three dollars. We need three of them. 
<laughs> it's only $3. That's really good. That's so here. cheap. What is that? Oh, it's like a shrimp head. Okay, hi everyone. It's our second day in Hawaii. Where are we at? Why aren't you wearing a mask? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're headed to the farmer's market. Can you see yourself in there? Yeah, you can see yourself in there. I am Austin's best friend from high school. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wait, Konami, calm so down. Austin. This is Konami, best friend. <laughs> Kiana, great <laughs> friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're nearing that best friend stage soon. Everyone knows that you're weak if you buy it in the first place. Wait, we didn't like, you Yeah, to you, have to go, you have to go to the depth. I think that's illegal. But I think it actually fell on my car, so then I Oh perfect. Passion fruit, sugar cane? Yeah. Really cane from the Hawaiian cane thing. Ooh. It's good, right? So it good. That like, passion like fruit is so good. It's really, yeah, it really tastes like cane juice at all. My morning has cane juice. You can't taste the mango as much. We can mix it. Yeah, it looks like your mango is like in the middle. Try it. Oh, it's a big berry. It's like slight hint. No one pressures anyone on this trip. We are now at the <laughs> Aloha Stadium flea market, right? Yeah, Is that what it's called? I think so. That's um, the stadium over there. Stadium, thank you. Yeah. Stadium, and then the entire like flea market oh. circles around <laughs> the stadium. There's literally three sections. So we're in this one section here, and then the second section's over there, and then the third section over there. So, kind of overwhelming. I think but we'll spend a good time here. Now. I don't know how to bargain. I'll videotape and bargain with YouTube fans. Don't worry. I'm literally like, they're like, oh, $10. I'm like, okay, $12. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do the premium. Pockets? Oh, okay, now at Beverly Cuts, after we finish the flea market, we eat lunch at Ono Seafood, which will be in a different video, and then now we're headed off to Lanikai Beach. And so now the footage continues on our drive to Lanikai Beach. Thanks.
Austin's fans. This is how he drives. <laughs> it's so bad. No, it's okay. So now we are trying to do the Lani Kai pillbox hike. They said it's easy slash moderate, but it's really quite hard. <laughs> it's a huge I'm climbing up so many rocks. It's if I don't make it, tell my family I love them. I think it's like a. This is white sand. Consider white sand. Yeah, it's white. That's a racist mountain. Yeah, one of those races. It's called. Oh. It's called, it's called Asian Man's Hat or something. One of these mountains. The one that looks like Asian Man's Hat. Yay! My hair is such a mess. Just because we got back from the beach, but now we're going to. Foodland Farms. For food. Plant hunger, so hopefully this is good. I mean, I love food land a lot, so. What are we doing? We're at Eagle right now, and this is one of three stores in the whole entire United States that have this printing machine. We already printed this. Wait, this, there's only three stores? Yeah. That have this? The one at Disneyland in Florida, Disney World, and then oh my and God. one in Soho, and then one here. Oh, they wow. They just bought it in, um, on Black Friday. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna make myself a shirt. So you could make your custom, yeah. what is it? What shirt or tote? They have this whole machine that you can make it on. Customize it. Oh, you remember I had all that drama with Uniqlo and I had to yell at them? Yeah. Wow. This is their, this I is, guess. This is, yeah. Uh-oh. I'm about to scream. Nami, what was your favorite part of the day? Um, I like the top of the hike. The view from the hike was really nice. Yeah. Don't mind me with my hat <laughs> on. <laughs> Okay. Kiana's <laughs> was Uniqlo and. Um, oh, wait, I recall what else we did. Wait. Yeah, she liked Uniqlo a lot and. Yeah, Konami bought the most amount of stuff. Oh, we're still videotaping. Yeah, yeah. I bought like. I bought shoes, I bought this tote, I bought earrings, I bought. She's a material girl. I bought this stuff, look. Isn't that cute? <laughs> very good, very good. My my favorite part was, um, I did like the hike a lot, but mine was the drive to the hike, oh like the nature part. Reminded me of Road to Hana. It's just so pretty. Like the vibes. Yeah. 